Right, was brief end. Whether you heard it yesterday or not, come over, please, thank you. Look, look who's last, look. Is it oh. Mr. Henderson? No, no. <laughs> Mr. Paul John is last. Paul. Well, it's because it's, it's he won yesterday, he thinks he doesn't need to, need to listen today. Uh, morning, everybody. I'm Sean. Uh, welcome to this amazing club of oh, Ken's and his fellow chaps and Lenny and Richie and Dave and everybody. Um, right, so you're all here for class two. The plan for today is to run uh, two courses this morning. One there, one just further down. One, yeah, one on each. And then um, we'll have a break. We'll set out and one more course for this afternoon, and then we just like everybody runs it basically. Um, we're not quite sure exactly where it'll be, but it'll probably be there. Just like the whole thing. Um, if you've not done a comp before, this is a quick explanation of how things work. Um, every gate is at least that width. It's 12 inches. Most of them are wider but some of them will be tight. So when you approach it, have a little look, just tight, take your time over it, yeah? Um, but they're gonna be that width at least. Uh, we'll split you up into two decent sized groups and then just sort of hang about and watch and encourage people. If you wanna go off for a little wander, there's a great trail up there or you can use only this stuff here, but it's probably worth watching people <laughs> just to have, a, have an idea of what not to do. If we don't do both courses at pace this morning, we'll be here Yeah, we'll late. be forever today. So. Yeah, so when you finish one course, get ready to join the other course. Join the other course. Um, so the way that we do it, work it with the score sheets. Um, if you go over to Gareth, who'll be at the table, who's going to be um, working all the numbers out and keeping score of everybody and working where they are. He'll give you a sheet, um, take it to whoever's scoring on whichever course you want to go on first. Um, They'll write your name uh, and class on there, and then wait your turn, and they'll do it. Okay? Keep hold of it because I mean, there's two runs in it. We do two runs in each course. Yep. Yeah, so how it's going to work is, once you have finished your course, you will bring that sheet to me on the desk there. We will add it up together, and I'll ask you questions if there's anything that's not clear, and you will agree that score. If my maths is wrong at that point. Once you've agreed it, that's the score. Yeah? You'll get the sheet back and you'll be able to do the same thing for the second course. Because it's got another one on the other side. Yeah. We, you'll come back to me, I'll do, do the same thing, add it up, and then I will keep that sheet. Okay? Once everybody's done two runs, I will add up <coughs> where we are with a combined score, and the first five people will start in reversal so yep. whoever gets the best combined score this morning will be starting in the afternoon yep got that cool right so uh on the scoring the way that it works um when you go through a gate like this once your rear axle has passed the line of the gate you get minus two points for progress it will be shouted out by the person helping you go around and pointing out where the the gates are but you get minus two for going through without touching if you touch the gate with any wheel or part of the body then that class is as the gate is now dead and you have scored 10 points all right the only other way that you can go through that gate and get your minus two at you'd still score 10 points but you also get your progress of minus two is like this two wheels from different axles must pass through the gate doesn't matter how they do it but as long as they go through the gate it has to be wheel on each axle all right so you, you might get say, that why would you want to do that okay <laughs> yeah go on yeah then. so if i can't get up the climb properly yeah you've got to finish this gate you need to progress every gate to lift it past yeah there is a hefty penalty to it that Sean will come to. So to make that progress, if I drove it like this, because it was easy to do that, I'd get the minus two, add 10 points, 
I'd only score eight points. Instead of scoring a full ten? Twenty. To but if you, don't to attempt, if you can't attempt the gate, and we take your car past the gate, that's a full 20 points. Because what happens is you don't, you haven't made the gate, so it's 10 points, and a reposition past it is another 10 points. Okay? The maximum you can score on each gate is 20 points. So if you've done like five or six reverses and you can't get up and over it, by the time you've fannied about doing all that, it's sometimes it might just be worth just chucking straight past it, right? Um, but you can ask and speak to the person that's helping you and scoring you, and they'll advise you what's the best thing to do if you start to panic, all right? So that's, your progress is minus two. Hitting the gate is 10 points. If you reverse at any stage on the course, it's a point. And a reverse, every reverse counts. So if you reverse and stop, and then go, ah, oh, God, you know, I've gone far enough, and do another one, that's another point. So remember that and go, right, okay, just take a second before you think you've got a reverse, and reverse as far as you like. Right, you can reverse all the way back to gate one if you're gate nine if you want, it doesn't matter. To make it easy to get through gate ten. You can reverse as far as you want, right? Um, once you've been through the gate, it's dead. You can hit it as many times as you like after that. So remember that as well. So if you've gone through three gates and then to get to gate four, you're like, oh, do you know what? It's going to be easier if I reverse back through gate three to then get to gate four to go through it. You can do that because it's a dead gate. You can hit the boards, it's not a problem. All the other gates are live at all times. If you touch, if you're on gate three and your car rolls down the hill and it hits gate nine, you'll be marked down for 10 points on gate nine because you've hit the gate. Yeah, so try not to roll your car, all right? The only one that we were not scoring that, that, that on was on the bonus gates. If you roll down and hit a bonus gate, you're not actually, you don't have to do the bonus gates. So you're only, if you hit a bonus gate on a roll down, we're not including that 10 points for that bonus gate. The only time you would score the 10 points for hitting the bonus gate is if you attempt to do it and hit the ball. All right? Um, so that's uh, reverses. So if you've got a winch and you want to use your winch, you probably won't need to, but if you want to use a winch, it's three points for each time you use that winch. So this is a winching stick. You can ask the person to put the stick in a position and then you go, right, okay, you attach the winch, you winch up, you go, oh, do you know what, can you move it back six inches or over to the left four inches? That's another three points. It's another winch, all right? You probably won't need to. Yeah, you probably won't need to. Okay. And and maybe because, this afternoon when it's wet, but, you know. Because there's a touch penalty, if you want to use your winch, you'll say, winch, yeah? The car will be stationary and then you're allowed to touch whatever it is, steady the car to get your winch. To get your winch attached. Yeah, if you've got a free spool, that's considered touching your car, your car and yeah, it's probably. 10 points. So if you've got a free spool winch, I wouldn't use yeah. it. But you probably won't need to use a winch, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, uh, then we've got um, sand ladders that apply. Um, dig, so that's where you lock the rear axle, if you don't know, you can lock the rear axle in your car so that you'll literally sort of turn on the spot. If, you, if you've got a dig on your class two and you want to use it, you can, but it's a point every time you use it, okay? Um, if your car rolls over, Gareth, please don't kick it. <laughs> if your car <laughs> rolls over and that, it ends yeah. up on its roof like that and you are unable to recover it by spinning the wheels and turning the steering, there's only two positions it can go back into, but that causes you a five point penalty to have the car rolled back into position. Not Gareth, by you. Not by you. You are not allowed to touch your car at any stage, apart from <coughs> to pull your winch. That's literally the only time. Yeah, you can't touch it any other stage. Don't stop it with your foot when it rolls down the hill. If you think it's going to roll, say to the person who's up there with you, you just put your hand out for me, because you don't want to damage your car. By touching it, or them touching it for you, in that scenario, 10 points. All right? So try not to roll your car. Don't put your foot out or your hand. Yeah? Or just the car, so drive into it. somebody else. Yeah, just yeah, just drive into something. So the recovery positions that this car can go into are either over to one side or literally over to the other side. Okay? That is it. If one of those positions is going to put your car into an unstable place where it's then going to roll again you're going to go don't turn it that way even if it, you think you might you can't hold on to it once it's turned let go if it falls down and rolls over again 
and lands on its roof again, you've got another five points. Yeah, so just think about where you want it to go that's going to be safe for the car or stable for the car. Um, so yeah, I've kind of touch in. Right, just so. Just before we leave that, yeah, yeah, go on. If you were in that position and you're trying to right yourself, you can reverse without penalty. Yeah, yeah, if you can get it back on its wheels, you can go forwards, backwards, left, right, whatever you like. If it gets it back on its wheels. But as soon as it's on the wheels, you will stop motion. So if it's on its side, for example, and it's, and it's stuck like that, you know, if you um, turn the steering, so the, the front of the, that is like that, and you put it in reverse, full on, eight times out of 10, that's gonna spin itself backwards and land on its wheels, yeah? Try it, as long as you then don't keep the reverse on, so when it's on its wheels, it shoots backwards, you don't get any penalties for getting your car back on its wheels, all right? So always try first, but if it doesn't happen, you can always, you can always have that rollover, all right? Um, position, right, if you can't get through a gate and you go, do you know what, just put me past it, that's a pick up and reposition, that's 10 points, yeah? And the position past it's, the gate is that. just past the gate. Just past the gate with the rear wheels against the gate. Yeah, if it won't stay just past the gate, because it's like a drop off, it's as near as... As near as possible. Yeah, the person scoring can place it for you. All right, if you've gone through a gate and you've rolled down the hill, and you've had five points to turn your car over, and you go, and you say so you've got through the gate, you've rolled down the hill, you're like, this is a nightmare, I've got to get all the way up there. If you don't think you can drive up there quick enough for yourself, you can ask for a reposition. And that <coughs> reposition will be into the same place, as Gareth just, just explained, and it'll be 10 points. Because you've had your car picked up and put in front of the gate. So, Does, if, so you, yeah? if you're attempting gate eight, yeah, for 10 points, you can position like that to point gate seven, yeah, to re-attempt gate eight. So, yeah, so you can go back to gate seven to re-attempt yeah. gate eight. <laughs> if yeah. you're on gate eight and decide you cannot do gate eight, you can be repositioned to like that on gate eight, then you can start gate nine, but that's 20 points. Again, if you've got any confusion about this, because this is the bit that always messes with my brain, um, just ask, yeah? And if you... If, if, you, if you reposition through the gate, you don't get the minus two for progress. No, you, you don't get the, the progress points, you get a full 20. Yeah. yeah. Um, the courses are six minutes, your time for six minutes. All right. Um, there's 10 gates, two bonus gates on both courses. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Um, and two bonus gates. You don't have to do the bonus gates, but if you want to do the bonus gates, you <coughs> must do them after gate one and before gate 10. Yeah, you can do it any, you know, whenever you like. You can go through gate one, run up, drive up the course, do two, the two bonus gates in the right direction, come back down, and then go two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Why would you do a bonus gate, Sean? You would do a bonus gate, Gareth, because bonus gates are worth minus five instead of minus two. They can make the difference between winning and losing. So perfect run without doing the bonus gates, minus, minus 20, 20, with. Minus 30. 30. We definitely had one minus going. 30 yesterday. It's definitely worth having a go, put it that way. Because the thing is, if you attempt, if you start to have a go at it, and then you go, actually, I'm not going to manage that, you can just reverse out of it and get lose one point. Rather than keep going at it, hit the ball, it's 10 points. Yeah, just, yeah. Um, if you run out of time and you haven't finished the course, each gate that you haven't been able to attempt is a full 20 points yeah so just try to if you want to be uh, notified of the time that you're taking all the way through the timer and scorer who will be down at the bottom of the hill they can shout out every 30 seconds every minute whichever you want they will shout out the time for you so you know what you've got left um, to keep an eye on it for yourself and also if you're rushing and then they go you go what's how much time I've got left and you're on gate five and they go you got four minutes. You're like, oh, okay. Right, I'll calm down a little bit now. Just take the time, yeah? So just keep an eye. Just think about how long it's taking you. Your six minutes is a long time, but it, it also is not enough time sometimes. But they're all doable. These two courses are doable in about four and a half minutes. Yeah, so you can do it, yeah? Um, so yes, yeah, so if you don't finish any gates and the time comes up, each gate is 20 points. Um, there's a direction penalty as well. You must go through the gates in the direction they're intended, like that. You can go through them in reverse, but what you would score is if you clear the gate and you 
don't touch anything, you go through it in a you know, with the car going forwards, you get minus two. Obviously, if you reverse through it, you only get minus one. Because you get a one point penalty for the reverse. What you cannot do is this. You cannot reverse through the gate and then drive through it forwards. Okay? You also cannot drive through the gates in the wrong direction, turn round and then go back through them. What penalty would that be? <coughs> Ten points. Alright? Get that? Is everything made like that? It's a crystal clear sense. Is the gate still live if you reverse? If you go through the gate in the wrong direction, it's still technically live? Yes. Yeah, it's live until you, you go through ten, it in the right direction. Yeah, you get another 10 points and you start to yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So you'd end up, if you went through it in the wrong direction to so then go through it in the right direction, you'd get a 10 point penalty. And then if you hit the gate again, well, you get 20 points, aren't you? So you get a 10 point penalty, but you might then get minus two. So it depends how, how you work the course and how you drive it, whether it's worth it. As the course risk or not. is laid out, there is plenty of room yeah. to get around. In the and, right direction. And you also remember that once you've passed the gate, the previous gates are dead, and that gives you even more options. It gives you loads of space to reverse back into the meeting. Alright? Um, right, so progress reverse, gate, winch, dig, roll, touch, position, direction. There are no boundaries, so basically what that means is if you uh, get to a gate, you get through it and you're like, ah, oh, I've messed up, I'm pointing in, I'm pointing to the right and the gate's to the left. If there's space for you, which there's plenty of, just do a massive loop. Yeah? You can drive all the way up to the top, come down something else, and then go back up again to get through the next gate. Doesn't Please matter. Avoid going on all to that's going to do, yeah, don't go on to the course. All that's going to do is cost you time. It's not a problem. Yeah, just think about where you, where you are. Look at the gate ahead. So as you, as you approach one gate, just look at the next gate to see what where you need to sort of be, and they will be pointed out for you each time. So as you approach that gate, they'll be going, this is the next gate. Yeah, no, this is the next gate. Unless you don't want them to. If you need it. Yeah, yeah if you need it, but unless you don't want them to. Um, <coughs> anything else? Yes. You can go on, Gareth. Okay. Safety. Okay, we're doing something slightly different. So, Sean here <laughs> is going to be scoring, let us say, and he I'll will be, score, be... I'll be writing down and yeah. I'll be timing you. And I'll be on the rocks and watching you go through the gate. Now this is a steep hill, yeah? So at any time, yeah, and the reason I'm not going to write down the scores is because I need to look where I'm standing and also need to look where you're driving. You also need to look where you're standing and driving. You don't want any accidents on this hill. So the red squares are the safer places to stand. You can obviously stand anywhere at your own risk. If you need to reposition, shout clearly, stop the clock. But you must be stationary. Yeah, your vehicle must be stationary. Yeah. You shout, stop the clock, I'll stop the clock. You can then walk to the position that you want to be in, and then it'll be right, okay, three, two, one, go. I can hang on walk and follow him. Yeah. And also, I might feel that I need to reposition myself for safety or view. I might stop the clock. Yeah. If and I stop the stage. clock, you need to stop driving. Yeah. But you can do that as many times as you like. You can do it for every gate if you want. We'd much rather people were safe standing places than, you know, wobbling around and then yeah. the risk of falling. Yeah. Yeah. Very much important. Yeah. Obviously, the people on the hill that are doing the adjudicating will have done lots of scoring and know the sensible places where they need to move and ask you to stop. Yeah, we're not going to do it as you're going through a gate, we're going to position yourself to the next. But yeah. it's about fun, so let's be safe. So yeah? One last thing about uh, the gates. As you're walking around the course, the gates are live until you've driven through them. If you hit a gate with your foot, that's going to score you 10 points, all right? So just keep an eye on where you're putting your feet on the gates you haven't driven through yet. Yeah? Go on. I was just going to ask, do you know, what wheel has, what wheel do you point to the gate? Because I know sometimes I've done one before, since so you point your right wheel, go to the one right. side. So the gates are orange and green. Yeah. Yeah. So both of the courses are laid out 
so that the orange balls are always on your left. Okay? So, obviously, when you're coming down the hill and you're looking up it, they'll be on the wrong side. But, yeah? So, the, so left wheel to the orange. And left to the orange. Yeah. 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 No. If, and if anybody's colour blind, Sorry, I just... I'm fucking lucky. <laughs> 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 the person on the hill will have the winch stick and they... Or they will tell you what direction. Yeah, they will yeah. point to the next gate and they will gesticulate yeah. which way you should be going. You can just ask ask as many questions as you yeah. want. Where am I going next? Which direction? What's after that one? Yeah. Don't piss people off. <laughs> no, 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 not at all, mate. Yeah. That's all I was going to say. Is you can ask the pause the clock. Yeah. Say, where the hell's the next gate? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And then you know which we, we want it to be as fair a, a drive as possible yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, so cool. And, and, because of time, mechanicals. You have a mechanical. Yeah, if anything yeah. breaks in your car and you can't fix it right there, yeah, yeah. then the clock does not stop for something breaking or falling off your car. Yeah. And the you clock will carries get on. a single touch penalty of 10. No reposition or everything. You can pick it up, work on it, put it back where it was, carry on for a 10 point penalty. But the clock keeps going. So yeah. make a decision do I drive with that? Could I do it for him? Because his fingers are like... There's still 10 points. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah if, 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 just if, because he's likely, he might bend the servo on again. No, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I yeah. could change that um, in like 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. It's taken... Yeah. 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 That's fine, yeah. You are allowed a spotter, yeah. but we would prefer the least number of people on the hill. On the hill. Don't worry about me. I'm a man. So like for yesterday, uh, we were using this, this area of course here and, and instead of people walking up and down when they were driving they were going up the steps walking across to the top we take that you have that time it's not a problem because so you can you stop the stop safe. the clock and reposition the clock, to the top around we stop the clock it might be easier to go up and over the top and come round again yeah. and then it's drag them down okay. it's, cool. it's a safety thing you know? we don't want Ken getting sued even the encouraged driving from the bottom Right. right, is Everybody anything happy? else? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, right, okay, the time is now.